here's a warning to anyone building a bubble app which depends on a third party service. This is the second time something like this has happened to me. The first time was I was building a social media scheduling app with AI just as Elon Musk purchased Twitter and made the cost to build Twitter apps be a Twitter developer, X developer now, skyrocket. Well, a similar thing happened to me when I received an email uh, only a few weeks ago over the Christmas period. And that is the fact that Carbon AI has been purchased by Perplexity. And that means that all of Carbon's features will be shut down by the end of January 2025, which came as a real shock because I was 80% of the way through building our internal AI powered learning environment trained on over 500 of our videos. And I was using Carbon for that. I was taking the video transcript, sending it as some text to Carbon, and then just using the query without having to get my hands dirty with embeddings and vectors. Carbon handled all of that for me. And so disappointment when I discovered that Carbon uh, was no longer going to exist because they've been purchased by Perplexity. So I'm doing this video because we've received a number of comments on the Carbon video and I have to be the bearer of bad news and say Carbon is not going to be helpful for you right now. So what are your alternatives? Well, I've not tested it, but if you are looking for a service that provides RAG and would allow your users to connect their own suite of apps like their own Slack account or their own Google Drive, Gmail, etc. Then I have found this one here called raggy.ai. I haven't tried it out. It's something that I intend to do in the future, but I wanted to find before recording this video a third party service that offered comparable features to Carbon. So I'd certainly check this out if you need that wide range of OAuth handling authentication in with third party apps for your users. But let me tell you about the route that I went down, which is I thought I don't ever want to be at the mercy of another service that shuts down because they get purchased by another company. And of course, that's a risk that happens. You know, that, that, that could even happen to Bubble. Bubble could be purchased, they, they could shut down. I think that there is a spectrum of risk though. And so what I've done for this internal app, well, it's internal now, but we'll be releasing it to our members soon, uh, is I've been using Xano because Xano is the um, sort of third party database platform that people were going crazy for last year because it, in terms of a database, it performs so much better than the Bobble database for handling large amounts of data. But it also allows vector storage. I could have gone down the route of Pinecone, but I basically each time I've tried to get into Pinecone, I've been put off. I just thought that it was quite technical, but I had to kind of get into that same thing, understanding the embeddings API with OpenAI, generating embeddings based on text. I had to do all of that, but I was doing it in Xano and I now store it in Xano. So what I've done is I set up a Xano table of all of our tutorial videos with the transcripts and then with the embeddings, because then I could send over a text string from my bubble app, that's the query, like what are option sets? And then Xano can compare that embedding with the existing vectors in the database and return ranked in similarity based on like semantic meaning, the content from the database. So if you just need to do text, a text rag basically, then this is the route that I went down. I went down the route of using Xano. Uh, I have been doing bubble coaching with a guy over the last few weeks who really got deep into Pinecone and is doing amazing things with Pinecone. The main difference I believe that he's experienced with using Pinecone is that you Pinecone just returns the reference. So you say, you ask it a question and it gives you back like five unique IDs and then you compare those to data in your bubble database and you fetch the data from your bubble database and you show that. Whereas with Xano, when it returns the data, you can get it to return data from its database. So I can return any fields from my Xano database back into Bubble. So there's some trade-offs. So quick recap, if you need the third-party services, then I'd recommend uh, checking out raggy.ai, although I, I can't endorse them because I've not tried them out myself. If anyone from Raggy wants to reach out, um, um, we, can, uh, uh, we can work with your app and we can do a demo with Bubble. But if you just want to use text, then I would suggest uh, searching in YouTube Xano um, Vectors and following along their tutorial video. It's only about 10 minutes. I did find Xano's workflow builder more complex than Bobble, but therefore it is more versatile. So that's what I found. That's what I had to do when I was faced with the disappointment that Carbon was shutting down. 
Um, and like I say, it's not the first time this has happened to me. So I will now be considering in the projects that I've built, uh, can I trust that the platform that I'm using is going to be around uh, in six months time?